Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. So the great news is that Halloween is right around the corner this Saturday. Yay! The bad news is that I'm not going anywhere, just like I've been doing for the past seven months straight. Yeah. And also, I read the news about the cancellation of the Halloween parade in New York City this year, which totally breaks my heart because I had so much fun two years ago at the parade. In order to memorize that, I decided to host a virtual Halloween party this year with a bunch of my friends. That's why I decided to do a full Halloween makeover. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, before I start doing my makeup, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that I'm no expert on makeup or anything, and this is my first time actually filming me, filming myself doing makeup, so please bear with me. The first step I'm gonna do is the foundation. Don't worry, I already put my sunscreen on. It's very important. For my foundation today, I'm using the Covermark Essence Foundation. In, can you see it? Focus, please. Okay. In this shade, B00, also called blue. I'm obsessed with this foundation because my skin is really dry and sensitive, so it's really hard for me to find the perfect foundation for me to put on my skin and without breakout. And this one actually has SPF inside it, so even if you forgot to put your sunscreen, it's okay to just put it on top of your skin. Ugh. I seriously don't know what to do, like what to say, because normally I just do my makeup silently without speaking. I'm gonna use this hair clip. Normally I would just gently pat down these foundations on my skin before I use the beauty blender. Okay, okay, now we have a generous coat. After the foundation, let's move on to the concealer part. Since I don't actually own a concealer, what I'm gonna do is to use the same foundation I just used to put extra a bit under my eyes to cover my dark circles and stuff like that. Trust me, this thing works like magic. After I gently pat it down, I will use a beauty blender to go over it to make sure it's Ugh, I'm completely out of the focus! Okay. After all that jazz, let's move on to the eyeshadow. So, for today's palette, I'm using this one. It's the Perfect Diary Beauty. It has nine shades, I really like it, and it came with the mirrors. For my brush fan out there, I do have eyeshadow brushes. First up, let's use this big blending brush to tap a little bit of the first shade, this one creamy. After the base, let's use this brush to tap a little bit of the cinnamon right here in the middle, just to give it a more. Let's do the other eye real quick. As many of you might ask, when do we get to the scary part? Because it was supposed to be a Halloween look. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. Next one, I'm gonna switch to this palette. It's the NYX Professional Makeup. It's all shimmery color. I normally just use this for like highlighting the eyeshadow points. Just like this. I'm using this orangey shade to put it right in the middle of my eyelid to make it pop a little bit okay then let's move on to the eyeliner for the eyeliner i'm using this is a korean brand i'm gonna link it on, on the screen now let's move on to the mascara for mascara today i'm gonna use my old trusty l'oreal Voluminous primer and the original. I'm gonna apply the primer first. I'm always scared to do this part because I might I might poke my eyes accidentally. Okay, my camera just stopped recording for some reason. Now I'm just gonna jump right into this. Now let's add the original. I'm using this kind of dark brown color because it's more natural than the black one. 
Next step is the contour. So I just got a new contour product from MAC, which is this one, Omega. It's actually an eyeshadow, but I saw many people using it as a contour, so I might just try today to see how it works. Kind of dark. Don't use too much. I think I use too much. Oh, that is really dark. Oh my goodness, that is really dark. Definitely should not have used this much. I'm gonna have to fix this. I'm gonna have to use another palette to actually fix it. I'm gonna use this light shade to put it right on my nose. Okay, I think I'm done with the contour part. Definitely not a great job, so <laughs> just ignore that. Now let's go back to the old palette to add a little bit of shimmer on my nose. Just make it pop a little bit. I think we are done with the basic makeup. Okay, now let's get to the scary part. I was looking for some inspiration online about the Halloween makeup and these are what I found. Da -da -da. These are like spider web kind of inspired makeup under your eye. So I think I'm gonna do these because I think these are the only ones I can do. Or maybe I can't even do these. Let's see. I'm gonna grab my eyeliner, just trying to draw. I'm gonna do a little bit improv here. What it does is actually follow the original line of your eyeliner and just like drag it long enough to make Okay, and then I'm gonna draw a little spider here. The body, okay, and then I'm gonna draw the legs. Oh my god. color is not consistent now we have a spider on my face how about we do another one here so it kind of matches the whole vibe why I can't talk probably because if I talk I'm gonna ruin this makeup okay this eyeliner is kind of dried so the color is not consistent Make it look like trees. Okay, <laughs> I think it looks horrible. Let me just get closer for you to see the spider. Okay, now let's put on some blush onto my spider web. I'm using this Shantikai Cheek Glee blush. This is kind of like a liquid blush. Yeah, I'm trying to create the. Fa okay, we're done with the blush. You can't even see it probably. <laughs> Now the final step, which is the lips. I'm using this MAC lip with the shade 313. Is this Scattered Petals. It's a new, new shade. I've never tried this before. Okay, I'm done with the color. It's kind of like a matte pastel color. Finally, makeup done! Woohoo! Now I'm gonna show you the costume that I got. Ta da da da! I got this dark fairy costume, as you can see this image. So let's open it. I think I have to be careful because the material feels kind of sketchy. Ooh, here we have this dark fairy dress. Looks looking good. It has this corset design for the top. Yeah, it's not actually a corset. It just looks like a corset. The dress is kind of long. And I will put a try on clip. So I'm just gonna open the rest of it. See the wings. So excited about. Okay, we have. A I dropped this headband. Do I need this headband? Let me try this headband. Should be looking like this. The headband is on. It's just some dark roses going on. 
Okay. Let me show you the wings first. Ooh, the wings look legit. I have to figure out how to put them on. Wait. How can I put these on? Seriously. Okay. I'll be right back. Da -da -da -da. I have this dress on. <laughs> to be honest, I'm kind of liking it. It has these kind of loose ribbon tied around the dress. <laughs> I feel like I can dance with these. <laughs> I wanted to show you the whole length, but the camera just can't. I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay, now we have the wings on. Totally looking like a fairy now. <laughs> the wings is kind of like wobbly around. <laughs> wobbly a little bit, but it's okay. As long as we have the wings. So we can actually fly. Lastly, let's put on the headband <laughs> to finish this whole thing now we are officially a dark fairy yay <laughs> I look so weird okay the last step will be taking some Instagram photos of today's look and to post them Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye bye!